we saw how the HANA models can be consumed using the view proxy. Now, how do we consume the view proxy in an ABAP program? The view proxy can be used as any other view which we use in ABAP programming. So, you can select from the view proxy, put it into an internal table and you can massage the data or you can read, from, read the data or you can display the data. So, in this two-liner code, we have tried to show you how data is selected. So, I'm, I've tried to select all the columns uh, from this view proxy into this uh, internal table and we are using inline data declaration inline means you see that added data so we did not define data type li underscore bank type standard table of zvp underscore bank we could have done that but that's old way of programming with hana and with with the uh, above 7.4 and above we can use the inline declaration and then we have used a class uh, which is provided by SAP to display the output. So it's simple. So let's let's try to do that in our program. Before before I go to my uh, SC program editor, let me read these two lines. So this is very important. The view proxy is consumed like any above data dictionary views. So that means whatever you were doing, you do not need to learn anything new. You can if you know the name of the view proxy you can consume it as you have been doing till date and also this is one of the methods to push the code from ABAP layer to the database layer so you are writing your program in an application layer you are consuming the view proxy when you execute this program in the behind the scene the HANA models are getting executed at the database level directly so it it has good performance and you can make use of the in-memory database. Now let us go to ADT and write our first ABAP program to consume the view proxy. So I am in my ADT. I already had a program written, so I am not planning to use it. I will try to show you how you can create your first program. So go to the package or you can go to, if you don't have package, you can go to your ID. So I'll, I'll go to the package. I'll right click on here. I'll say new. And then ABAP program so that will open now I want to give my program name say I'll say why uh, consume models and then I'll say program to consume HANA model using view proxy okay and then I hit next so it will ask for a transport so I will choose this one information model in HANA and then I'll hit the finish so the new program got created now I'll write the two lines of code which I showed in the uh, slide it will be select star from GVP underscore banks I think there was no s bank uh, into table I will we'll declare inland data data li underscore bnk and i'll give, to give a full stop so there's a warning is saying that we are using external views we know about it so we can ignore that and then we will try to display it in order to display we can use the demo class which sap has provided so i'll give this uh, i'll hit control space okay it will give me all the list i can hit start writing display data I can hit this and then I can hit control space and then shift enter okay control space then you shift enter so it will give me auto populate this I'll just comment this out and I'll give the value so value is BNK and then we need to activate it so click on this activate button it will activate so you see that activation finished with warnings the warning we know so we can ignore it if you really want to see the warning you can also see there these are the places so you come here problems warning so what is the warning the same thing the database features external view is used so you just making you aware that you are using an external view uh, which has a model behind the scene and wh whether you really want to consume it or not and since we know it we can ignore it now let us test our first program which consumes the view proxy so you can Go here, over here, run as application, above application. Uh, you 
click that and then it executes it. So it gives me the output in the pop-up. So this is the output from our program. So you can scroll down and see. So you have all the data. If you are um, habituated of hitting F8, you can do that also. So I am here, I'm just hitting F8. So it will give me the same thing. It will execute the program and give the output. Another point which I missed till now to tell you that when you create this program in your ADT, the program also gets created in your SAP backend. So you can check that in GUI as well. So since this is connected to your GUI, so anything which you create in ADT has to be there in GUI. So I go to SE38, I give the program name, I go to display, you get the code and you can test it. I hit F8 and you saw you get the output. So whether you test it from the ADT or the GUI, the output would be same because the program is same. It is it consumes the view proxy which in turn consumes the HANA model which runs in the in-memory database and gives you the output. If you were to select only few fields of the uh, view proxy, here we are selecting all. So if you had to select only view few say three or four fields, then what you'll do? The only difference is that in normal OpenSQL, you do not put a comma after the field name, but in this case, you need to put the comma. Say the bank, uh, I don't remember the field names. Let me check them again. I'll go to the view proxy and check it. It's BNKS banks, BNKL and BNKA. Okay, BNKS, comma, BNKL, BNKA, and there was also OR T01. Okay, so these are the fields. So I am selecting only four fields. So the only difference what you're doing, you're giving a comma. In normal OpenSQL, which you write in your ABAP program, you do not need to give the comma, right? Now we can activate it. It's activated with warning, the same warning, and you can execute it. I did F8 and it will give the output with just those columns which we wanted. I hope this is clear. Before we end this video, let me show you one more trick. So if you are not sure what should be the select query, you can always take help from the system. So I am I'm here in my view proxy. I right click, I go to open preview, data preview, and then I showed you the open SQL console, right? Go to the SQL console and see how it is being retrieved in the database. So you can use this code as well in your select query. So let's let's copy this and go to our program. Okay, here I'll just write here from banker into table at the rate. Say I'll say li li bank two. All right, and then give a full stop. So this is active. No, it is not. Let me see what is the issue. Oh, I need to give the data data and now now it's active so let me activate it see and now I'll, I'll comment this line in order to comment I can use control 7 it commented again if you hit control 7 it's uncomment or you can just right click then go to source code and then toggle comment so this is commented now I want to display the new table right so I'll display bank 2 I'll use bank 2 activate again and then let's run it F8 it will give the same output this time it is from the different table so the point is if you are not sure how the query would be you can just always go to the SQL query of that proxy that view proxy so we we gave this um, alias alias name but this was not needed okay so if you give or don't give it still works so in the first program we did not give this uh, alias name but in second we gave it explicitly as it came from the uh, SQL console so it is up to you uh, with this we end this chapter on consuming the models using view proxy 
I hope you will be able to use it in your real project.